heads up, away we go. Wozniak out of gate number three makes a superb start, gets the better of Smarzik as they go through the first corner. Lebedev's in the third place, here comes Smarzik trying to find his way through on the inside, but the door was slammed shut. He's coming on strong, he's up the inside, the world champion fires himself to the front, wouldn't be denied. Wozniak's gone wide, in comes Lebedev, Wozniak responds. Brilliant speedway in the opening lap. Unbelievable speedway. I thought, to be honest, that Wozniak had done all the right things, but he just left the smallest of gaps for Bartosz Smarzlik, and he doesn't need a sec second invitation. It's all tightening up now for second, third and fourth. Madsen at the back, that's a bit of a surprise. Indeed it is, since the gate four early on is not working. Beauty had the same problem, but Madsen is not out of it. He's coming on strong. He's trying to get the better of Lebedev, who's just struggling a touch in third place. But Bartosz Smarzlik riding around like a champion in his uh, opening race here in heat number two. Wins of the canter, super move early in the race. Wozniak hanging on in second place. But uh, impressive stuff there from Smarzlik. He didn't get away quite as well as he would have liked. Start at gate two, Robert Lambert coming around the outside from gate three. Oh, Jan Kovec! That bike just hooks up, slams Freddy Lingman up. Oh, Lambert comes from nowhere. What a move from Robert Lambert. Here comes Lingman now, back up the inside. Sensational opening lap of Speedway. How hard was uh, Jan Kovec or Lingman there? Slammed him into the fence on the back straight. Robert Lambert says, thank you very much. I'll take advantage of that. Ooh. And uh, it was all getting out of shape there for Wozniak at the back. I don't know if he's got a problem, but uh, Jan Kovec is keeping the pressure on Linger and he's gone out wide, lost a bit of ground. Mm. Robert Lambert once again looking good out front. Robert Lambert out in front, stunning move early in the race. It was really was topsy turvy on that first lap. Freddie Linger coming through nicely now into second place because Jan Kovec suddenly got some speed. Disappointment for Wozniak. But back to back, he victories for Robert Lambert. He moves on to six out of six. What a night he's enjoying. And along very nicely indeed. Confident move early in the race. Jason Doyle takes up. We're underway. Wolfgang has made a good start, but Lebedev's is there from gate number three. Look at Doyle! Brilliant. Oh, Doyle's oh. off! Oh, down goes Wolfgang as well. Uh, good to see him back on their feet. Yeah. And uh, Jason Doyle almost certainly is going to be thrown out of heat number seven. See it again, Chris. Yeah, he makes a reasonable start. Then the bike snakes, and he's, that gives him the opportunity to cut back. Great move, but there yeah. he's just working the bike hard. He knows there's no dirt down on the inside. He's got to get off the corner. I think it looks like he maybe collects a rut. I'm really not sure. No, I think it's just the, the tyre catching up on him. He's probably just backing the throttle off, trying to find that little bit of extra traction. and. He finds it, just all a little bit too sudden. Yeah, disappointment then for Jason Doyle. Have we seen the exclusion light yet? It's on. So he is out of the rerun. And we will have just the three of them. Here we go then, green lights on. Takes up now! And Hook and Beck's made a good jump, but I'll tell you what, Jason Doyle's made a better one. Fabulous start from the Australian. He fires himself to the front. Madsen coming through in the second place. The German now back in third, Hook and Beck. Round the inside, coming through there is Jan Kovec. Jan Kovec has got the better of Hook and Beck there. Smart move from him, but super, super start from Jason Doyle. Yeah, brilliant coming from gate three, just tapping the fence there, launches him into the corner. Madsen hanging with him, putting him under a fast. little bit of pressure. He's That's looking for fast. the outside line now. He knows he's got a gap, he's not Ooh. under pressure from behind, he's going to have the speed here down the straight. Fabulous overtake there. Jason Doyle now looking to repay the favour up the inside. I think he's going to do it. What a race is this, we're into the last lap. Leon Madsen once again firing himself up the inside. Top car speedway here. Well to wheel down the back straight for the final time. Leo Madsen and Jason Doyle putting on a masterclass of World Championship Speedway there in heat number 11. Madsen coming through in the end, but by crikey, that was a battle for three points. Here we go then, heat 15, star study. Doyle 
Charles Mellis. Oh no, it's Holder making a smashing start on the inside. Jason Doyle nearly coming down. Round the outside oh. comes Freddie Lingwin. Lingwin now coming through in the second place. Smarslick's trapped at the back. Can he do anything from there? Here comes Lingwin. Oh, Jack Holder swipes oh. across in front of him. Bartos Smarslick up the inside. Jason Doyle now coming through. Can they all stay up? Yes, they can. Lingwin's relegated to the back. What a lap of speedway that was. I tell you what, what is going on here? This is an absolutely fabulous race with Jack Holder doing a great job out front. Freddie Lingwin, look where he's riding now. He's trying to generate that speed to get himself back in the mix. It's oh, on the outside here he comes. There. Coming past Marshall, nearly out the stadium. Oh, Freddie Lingwin, so brave. Winding it on, Sparslick's relegated to the back. Holder's just about there, but so Jason Dorn having a real go in second place. What a race of speedway this is. Heat 15, it was a big billing, and it lives up to it. Lingwin nearly got second place there, you yeah, know. Yeah, very close. Very I think we'll close indeed. It's green lights on, takes her up. What a start from Holder. He's there. He fires himself to the front. Who can back following him through? Oh, look at Doyle! Doyle's going to get squeezed up. How did he come through? Now he dives on the inside. Fantastic move from Doyle. Can Hukumbek repay the compliment? Not quite. Two Australians first and second. What an opening lap from Jason Doyle. Oh, fantastic. Used his uh, head in the first turn. Realised there was no way he was getting across. Made an early decision to cut back. Always oh, oh, oh. using those ruts he was talking about. Doesn't want to make a mistake in them. Kai Hukumbek is going to keep him under plenty of pressure. Out in front, though, Jack Holder has been superb tonight. Looking fabulous out in front. A stunning ride from Jason Doyle. He's pulling away from Hukenbeck. The two Australians are set fair for the final tonight. Jack Holder's never looked like he wasn't going to make it. Doyle has had to really work overtime to come through. Holder's looking good. Doyle, that is some special ride from him. Up against it. Freddie Lingwin will be taking some positives out of that, won't he? Because he's got K4 in semi-final number two. But for... Great racing. Here we go. Semi-final two. Takes her up. Away they go. Smarsic's made an absolute superb start there. Lambert's coming through. Look at Lingwin! Lingwin round the outside. Where did he find that from? He's come through in the second place. Fabulous stuff from the world number two. Number one and two in the world from last year. Madsen's out the back. But for Robert Lambert, who's been so good tonight, will he just miss out here once again? Lingren, he's putting pressure on Smarzik. Of course, he doesn't need to overtake him, but I guess in second place, he feels vulnerable. He knows it's Robert Lambert behind him, who's had a fantastic night so far. So he's in a difficult position, but I think just chasing Smarzik will give him enough speed and pace to stay ahead of Robert Lambert. What a ride by Smarzik. Out of gate number two, made it work. Very impressive stuff from Freddie Lingren. Once again, grinding away. Hasn't won a race tonight, but he is going to make it through to the final. One last quarter to go in semi-final number two in the opening round of the World Championship. Smiles for the champion, he's through. Lingren joins him. Lambert's going to be gutted. Oh. On the button, here we go. Green light is on now. Takes up, we're away. Holder's got it. He's there. Doyle's alongside him. Smarzik now is creeping in. It's always out of shape. It's going to go to the back. Oh, disaster for Smarzik in the first corner. Holder and Jason Doyle away. Down the back straight, first and second. Here comes Freddie Lingwood through into third place. Bartek Smarzik out the back, but for Jake Holder out in front. Is he going to win his first Grand Prix? Yeah, he's looking set to do so. It's going to be a mistake that would cost him because he's just pulling away now. Jason Doyle will be uh, very, very happy happy to end up with a second place and Lingren as well they've battled all night long it's uh, not really spreading out too much this race but I made up for Jack Holder if he gets his first win here but Doyle's tenacious he's going to keep going at him he is indeed Jack Holder now with less than a lap to go superb start what a night he's had here we go nervous down the back straight one last turn to go Jack Holder out in front oh a special move for Holder wins his first Grand Prix in the first Grand Prix of the season in Croatia. Fabulous season for him. Super, super moment for young Jack Holder. Fantastic performance from Jason Doyle. Smarslik misses out. Doesn't need the World Championship for the first time in two years. But the note belongs to Jack Holder. 
What a moment for him. Yeah, and he's been the best rider, in my opinion, all night. Jason Doyle, the first to catch him up and congratulate him. Oh,